laptop, cheese, everything is nice and warm. One big issue that you usually face if you live in a tent, uh, especially in the winter time, is keeping your shit actually warm. Uh, sounds a little bit stupid, but actually it's very important, uh, meaning that, uh, you know, if you're using milk, um, cheese, um, even your laptop in my case, uh, if you want to keep that warm, you have to uh, insulate that in some capacity. Um, I was looking into uh, the Dometic um, cooling, you know, active cooling boxes. But the problem is, um, like pretty much every fridge that you have nowadays, they don't run in cold temperatures. They need a certain uh, outside temperatures, uh, so the the coolant or whatever they use inside uh, doesn't freeze, and that happens relatively quickly. So the solution, at least in my case, is having a normal cooling box. Um, and then uh, applying heat inside. Laptop, cheese, everything is nice and warm. So if you grow a couple of plants or whatever, you usually have this thing at home. And um, what it does is just uh, regulate the temperature. So you can set it between five degrees and 35 degrees. Um, those things usually come for like, you know, 30 euros or something like that. The cooling box is the most expensive part. Uh, in this case, the domatic ones, they are quite expensive. I mean, this one was, I think, 350 euros plus the divider that I bought. Uh, so I have it a little bit more sorted and the uh, that tray uh, also comes with an extra price obviously uh, which is a little bit annoying but you know like um, there's a difference this is the cool ice 42 which is uh, one of the older models uh, i watched a couple of reviews and they uh, kept up quite well against the yeti ones uh, which are fairly bigger insulated which are like you know the comparison now would be the the patrol series of the domatic ones uh, and they have about the same insulation value, quite thick. So the equivalent to this one would be uh, the Patrol 35. So you actually lose quite a bit of uh, liters, which I didn't want to. And uh, as far as I have seen in the tests between the Automatic um, and the, the Yeti ones, which have uh, the, uh, the same or relatively the same insulation as the new Petrol ones, Patrol ones, um, I, uh, they, they were pretty much the same, so I opted to go for something that has a little bit more space. It's still not super much when you're just at home, but for car riding, whatever, that is actually the perfect size in my opinion. So power-wise, this obviously runs in 230 volts, so if you really want to have it in the car in the winter, you kind of have to adapt it, you know, accordingly. Running the cable out is pretty easy, you just use the drain plug, quite straightforward, so you just have to Get a new cable uh, plug, but easy fix. Now just a few little details. I really prefer those handles over the patrol version because they're they are stiff. Um, I have other cooling boxes uh, with loose handles also from Domatic and uh, it's kind of a little bit wobbly. You can actually cinch stuff down here. Uh, which is really nice, so you can actually put that on a quad or something like that and then still be able to open it. Those hatches here, those openings are, um, uh, they're rubber, so we see how long they are actually holding up. Um, on my other Domatics I actually had to uh, put a different system in here. Uh, this one here is actually rubber and it's like, you know, it seems replaceable, so that's actually not that bad. Uh, the accessories here, I found that rather useless, so I don't have it. Uh, the seat is actually uh, something that I probably gonna go for in the long run. But otherwise, it's fairly simple. I really like the, uh, the overall construction. They're super durable and uh, last for quite a long time. Um, another little thing in terms of having this thing running, uh, moisture is usually a big problem in the winter time uh, having it here so you uh, most likely uh, you kind of have to have to see if you have moisture created so you have to kind of prevent it put a towel in or something similar like that a decent alternative is the Nalgene bottle ink uh, with the insulated uh, sleeve 
The only downside is you will definitely create much more moisture inside. Uh, so you have to definitely work on it and you have to fill up the bottle two three times a day with hot water to be able to keep uh, the insulation uh, to keep the inside warm depending also on the insulation value of whatever you use what kind of box otherwise yep it's new but I know uh, what I'm getting with them because I have two other ones so that's perfectly fine for me good stuff <laughs>